All right, let's finally go to our last story for tonight. In the wake of the crisis rocking the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, and moves to resolve the internal dispute, former President Goodluck Jonathan has been drafted in to resolve the issues with stakeholders of the party. According to former governor of Vinoy State, Gabriel Suzwam, it became imperative to salvage the party from shipwrecking itself. The former governor is hopeful that with the recent moves to reconcile aggrieved members, the party will be more united ahead of the 2023 presidential election. Uh, right. So let me come to you now. Okay. There have been unsuccessful moves by the PDP to bring the warring parties uh, to negotiation table. Why do you think this is difficult? Why do you think this is always looking like it's not going to happen? The whole crisis keep coming up and all that. Well, any society that there's no sincerity in negotiations, discussions, and there's no equity, we are not going to have peace. Because there's injustice. And to me, there's no issue to resolve here. From what I hear in the news, the issues are quite simple. Mm -hmm. Is that of fairness? Is that of equity? And what is right? Adherence to federal character. That's what I think the wiki group are asking for. And these things are quite simple. Number one, what are the issues? Number one, there's a pressure candidate from the north. It follows that the chairman of the party should not come from the north. Those are very simple issues that can be resolved. Number two, I've also heard that the governors have ask for a commitment from the presidential candidate to commit to federal character principles. That is basic issue, even from the bedrock of any presidential campaign. It shouldn't be part of what should be discussed at the table. So it is a matter of sincerity, a display of sincerity from the PDP presidential candidate. He needs to build confidence in his party. If a man says he wants to unite his party, he wants to be the leader of the country and is capable of uniting Nigeria. He needs, he now is the leader of his party. He needs to demonstrate it by force uniting his party. That is how he can even convince people who are apolitical, who will just come, show up on the day of the election and vote. If you are not going to be able to resolve the issues within your family, you can't become the king of a community. How do you do that? Charity, they say, begins at home. So, first thing is that the, there's no need to draft this. It's a waste of time, especially a waste of electro, uh, the time of the electorate. There's no need to draft anybody. The issues have been put to the table. Mm. The president kind of the party should look at it and show, demonstrate the capacity of a unifying factor that he has referred himself as and resolve the issues. And the issues are quite simple. Is that of fairness? Is that of equity? And adherence to the principle of federal character. So are three issues that can easily be resolved by the candidate. Anything short of that is sincerity and is it amounts to deceit, especially uh, for all suspecting Nigerians who just want to come to the uh, ballot on that day to cast their vote. Mm -hmm. If you say you want to resolve uh, Nigerians' problem, you must start from the point of view of equity and uh, the capacity to truly unite this country and fairness, because Nigeria is a multiracial, multi-ethnic group uh, uh, nation. So right. anyone that wants to be president needs to show that he's sincere. All right. I just want to quickly get your side of the story, um, Chino. In a few seconds, it's just few months to election. Do you think the party is really doing enough to ensure the crisis does not jeopardize the candidates, uh, its candidates' chances of winning? Right, it's quite unfortunate, Chino. I think we've lost um, connection with Chino. But I just want to say thank you for coming on the show. Uh, Nigi Saliu, media, media consultant. Thank you. Thank you.